here to support the People's Summit's call for an alternative agenda to the corporate agenda that's pretty much ruined America and working on ruining the rest of the world too. And, uh, those who are in charge of that agenda are meeting in this building, the General Motors headquarters, headquarters of the world's largest bankrupt taxpayer-owned corporation, with the audacious claim that they are going to design our future. It's absolutely outrageous. It's also silly and foolish on their part. And they can see and hear that the real people in this country are here telling them that they are not fooling us for one minute. Yeah, I work for American Axle for 12 years. Why are you here today? Because of my health uh, care, because of my health problem, they end up uh, forcing me out of the company. And now we went down from like 5,000 workers down to like 173. All our jobs going overseas. They want us to buy America, but they don't want to act like they're American. My name is Mike Martinez, and I came here from Miami to Detroit to come to the People's Summit and to fight foreclosures, which are not only affecting Detroit and Michigan, but the whole country, the whole world. Basically, I'm an anti-capitalist revolutionary, and wherever I can, you know, join the struggle against this wicked, crooked capitalist, I call it capitalist system, you know, I'll, I'll be there. My name's Chris. Uh, Chris, who do you work for? I don't have a job. Oh, well, you don't? What I'm are you doing here? I am here as a student, I am here to learn, and I am here to help learn how I can make a difference in our country's future. Where do you go to school? I go to Northwood University. Are there any uh, particular issues facing uh, college students at Northwood? I think we are no different from the rest of the country as far as the same issues that face us are facing everyone else. We want to know how to get jobs. We want to know how we're going to pay our student loans. Um, you know, it's we're all in the same boat. That's the thing. But one of the things that's going on in this summit is that we're trying to find ways to get Michigan back to work. And that's no political agenda. I'm not being paid to tell you that. Oh, I know. You know, we're trying to find ways to get Michigan back to work, and we're trying to come up with ideas. I have a bunch of ideas in my head right now that I want to work out, and I want to bring manufacturing right here to Michigan. There's so many people who are very smart, very talented, great manufacturers who've been laid off, and I want to pick up that talent and put them to work. The people who think that, uh, you know, auto workers are fat, lazy, uh, what do you think the public, some of the misconceptions that they need to understand before they can... What, you mean that isn't true? <laughs> I've heard the same thing. Uh, I'm not fat. Uh, that's just a misconception that people have, that they got, that they're basically more of the middle class than they are working class. And I think a lot of auto workers are really disillusioned with that also. And so that's basically the media, uh, so forth, so on. It comes out, you know, the union bosses, they just want your dues, and so forth, so on, so they can live a life of leisure. That's just a misconception. But I think it takes us to get out there, all the workers, to step down or whatever, and to address this as a working class issue. This is not a middle class. We're not the middle class. You know, we're closer to the bottom now more than ever than we are to the top. So what kind of solutions are they talking about in there? We're trying to find out. Because I'll tell you something, corporate America, they don't really know what to do either. Well, I think that the, uh, clean, the clear guidance that's been coming from several uh, points of the grassroots, folks that have been following this, is, you know, we need to invest our resources not in a couple of bankrupt corporations to save their brands, but in the productive facilities and in the people of our country. You know, we need to renegotiate those mortgages, cram down the mortgages on the banks to keep them in their houses. We need to keep those plants open and put people to work manufacturing the infrastructure for mass transit and for alternative energy industries, you know, that are going to create a world, let's face it, that our kids can live. You know, we need to stop wasting our tax money on wars all over the world so that you know, we can dominate Pikelanistan or whatever and oil from Iraq. And we need to use those resources to benefit all the people of the world so we can all live in peace and security. Are they talking about um, workers' wages, uh, benefits, uh, legacy costs? Yeah, and that's, you know, it is part of the discussion. It's all part of the discussion of business because you have to take care of the people who work for you. You know, and if, I, if, if you're going to do a job for me, I should, you know, compensate you. That's the way this country works. It's not slave labor. <laughs>
who's representing the workers' perspective in there? Can you can you tell? Is, it, is the union here or not? I don't believe they're represented. If they doubt about us being family, here you go. This is your family right here. You can sit on this family. Nick Dow came in back when he was making all the money in 1994 and took the company from the bottom and took it to the top. And he ended up crossing out all the workers. Nick Dow, he going to be right, right off in hell with the rest of the big CEOs that's messing over America. We ain't going to buy America. I'm starting to buy Toyota. And I'm going to buy anything but America until America starts being America. Well, I'm out here today because uh, we, uh, all the workers are under attack and we need to fight back. Uh, we need to defend ourselves. The, the leadership of the union don't want to come out and stand up and defend us, so we're going to defend ourselves. So the IWW was formed in 1905 basically as an alternative to the business unionism of the AFL that came about. Uh, it's a union based upon solidarity unionism, nature to one is nature to all, and direct action. It's based upon building industrial unions, which means that if you all work in the same job across the entire country, you're all part of the same union, which means that if one sector of your uh, union is attacked, pretty much anyone else in the exact same union can go on strike in solidarity. So the goal is to work towards having general strikes. Do you think Buy American is a legitimate uh, remedy? Hell no. I mean, everyone's exploited. I think that the only solution is revolution. Uh, I, I think that we need to, to adopt a more reasonable way of governing society. I think that socialism is the next step in human social evolution. And I think that workers go to work all the time and they run their plants all the time. We don't need the bosses. You know, all the money that's going to their bank accounts could be going to the streets, to schools, to healthcare. We don't need them. And I'm trying to make it loud and clear that unless we get a national movement, fight for national health care, then uh, I might as well get me a trailer, pro trailer home and move to the edge of the cemetery so I can just die in it when I get sick because I can't live without my health care. We'll be back. Yes, we'll be back. We'll be back. We, we had a hundred yesterday. Five hundred a day. A thousand a month. A hundred thousand a week. A million next month and a hundred million next year. Y'all have to understand that when they brought Governor England in here, that meant that they're going to take some more concessions from. He is nothing but a representative of business. He started attacking poor people back when he was uh, governor of the state, elimination of general assistance, slashing the safety net. And that's what he's here today for, is to make sure that they're able to take more concessions from the workers. He's, uh, these business people are not here for us. They are trying to uh, devise a plan to make sure they can squeeze more and more of us out of us. You know, so we must keep organizing and making sure that we let these corporations as well as the government know that it is time out for this nonsense and that the money that they have taken to bail out these companies and these corporations should be going for our benefits.